What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Justina, and I'm back with another video. Oh, hey, 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 bitch. I right, hold on now. Where's my remote? Because the fuck, where is my remote? I need to turn this down. So, yeah, I just need to turn this down. Okay, so you already read the title. So, I'm about to sit here and I'm gonna give y'all all my tips and tricks on how I keep my kitty clean. Like, seriously, because I know, like, there's a lot of women who feel insecure about their vaginas, about the smell of their vaginas, about their pH balance, about this, that, and the third, okay? And I'm here to give you my secrets, my tips, and I'm here to let you know that, first of all, your vagina is not supposed to smell like flowers, okay? It is a human body part. It sweats just like everything else. There's fluid that comes out of it, which is actually self-cleansing. The vagina is self-cleansing. So as far as putting anything up your vagina, by the way, you don't need to put anything inside your hoochie, okay? It's going to, it cleans itself out. That's what the discharge is for, okay? Seriously, do not put none in your coochie. Because then you're going to be like, why my shit smell off, bitch? Because you put it in your coochie. You're supposed to clean the vulva area only, the outside area only. Now, first I'm going to start off with some some tips. Okay, now, if, if every time after you have sex with a guy, you smell fishy, baby girl, he's fucking somebody else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to hear that, baby. But it's I right. can't deserve you anyway. But seriously though, like if you're if you're a pussy, like oh, dang, that's how I talk. And I gotta remember, I gotta eh, be careful what I say on here. If your vagina smells a little fishy every time after you have sex with somebody, it's because they're fucking someone else, or because their hygiene is off. Whether it's their fingernails, their tongue, their mouth. Like, everything. And, like, it's very important to be fucking with a guy with good hygiene, okay? Because that will always throw your pH balance off because of all the germs that are in his mouth, all the germs that are on his tongue, all, everything that's under his fingernails. If he does not, you know, like, wash his hands often, like, if he doesn't wash his dick good enough, you know, if he's uncircumcised, that's even worse, you know? You gotta pull back your foreskin, make sure you clean it, like... There's a bunch of shit that goes into it with men. Now, if he is clean and he's still making you smell like fish every time after, that's he's fucking someone else. And he's mixing the pee. Like, it, mm, girl, yeah, just get tested. And wear condoms and be careful because, yeah, that's all that fucking matters. But anyway, so, tips and tricks that I use. Okay, first of all, I only use water. I use water and unscented Dove bar soap. For my vulva and my butt, okay? Like, unscented Dove bar soap is what I use, okay? That does not go inside of you. That only goes on your vulva, you know, in between your lips and stuff like that, okay? That's how that goes, okay? And I use my hands and my fingers because a washcloth is just really, really, really rough for you know, that area, like the washcloths or like the loofahs is really, really rough for that area. Do not use those down there. Dead ass. Like, don't do that. Go, if you, if you don't like using your hands because you don't like touching yourself, because some people are just don't like touching themselves because they're not comfortable with their body, then, um, go and get like a softer, um, you know, rag or something like that, like specifically for that area and only use it for that area and nothing else. Don't put any types of soaps or anything on there. Guys, listen, another thing important is your body washes. Body washes, bitch, they carry so much like, you know, perfume, scent and shit in it. Like that shit is horrible for your vagina, okay? Be careful. Make sure you're not using that stuff down there on your pussy. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's going to throw your pH off and that's why you smell wrong, okay? Another thing, ladies, now I actually have... Two products here that I'm going to show you. No, I'm not being paid for this, okay? Another thing that you need is a prebiotic, okay? This is probiotic and prebiotic, and it's basically feminine health dietary supplement. Um, this basically helps you keep your pH balanced. And, yeah, cranberry, everything is good for it. You know, cranberry is good for the vagina. It's that simple, like, bitch. But, no, seriously, prebiotics, probiotics, like, those are very, very good for your vagina. Like, you have to get one. Prebiotics is better, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. You have to get one. Like, that also helps with, like, if you get sweaty down there and everything. Like, it really, really, really helps. And you have to take it every day. Be consistent on it. Be consistent on it. Don't don't think that you could take every day for a week and then you're like, oh, I, I'm good forever now. No, bit, No, bit. You got to keep going and you have to keep taking it. Like, that's very, very, very important. Now, second thing is, 
This is something else that I use. Now, this is a boric acid vaginal sus suppositories. pH balance, okay? Do you see this? Do you see this? Now, there are so many different kinds of brands of this. Like, you can literally get whichever one you want to. Um, but this is the one that I use. It's literally in Walmart, and it's like 20-something dollars. Now, you take one, and you put it up you 12 hours before sex or whatever, and then... It's all going to, you know, drain out and stuff like that. So make sure you have a panty liner on because if not, your underwear are going to get really wet. Like, and it's just, you know what I'm saying. So, and then make sure you shower before you do have sex with someone. You do not put this in your mouth. You do not take this. This is not oral. A pill, you put this inside the vagina. You do not put this in your mouth. You do not put this in your mouth. You don't take this in your mouth. Okay? You put it inside. Okay? And then after you put it inside, you're good. And then, yeah, do not let your boyfriend, like, eat you out and stuff, like, while you're still discharged, like, draining it out, okay? Because that, that's bad. That'll make him sick. Again, the stuff is not supposed to be in your mouth, okay? And same thing with having sex. You have to wait until it's fully drained out, which is why they suggest that you do it overnight. And honestly, I suggest the same thing. I suggest you do it overnight, but if you're in a pinch and you forget, you let's say you got to, like, go out later that night early in the morning. Like, as soon as you wake up, then just, you know, pop one in. Okay, like, and that's very important. Another thing is, and this is something that, like, I found out on my own, is drinking water. Drinking water, drinking water, drinking water. Like, seriously, like, okay, so we all, we're all, we're all females here, and there's probably some guys watching this too because they did not know any of this shit, which is fine. What's up, niggas? What's up? Welcome. But anyway, like, obviously, we get sweaty down there. We get musty down there. Like, it's, it's sweat, and it's always wet. So that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're always wet down there, so, oh yeah, another fun fact. Make sure you try to stay dry, okay? When you wipe, pat dry, don't wipe, like, hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, pat dry, like, that is the best thing for you. But, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, drinking water. Drinking water really, really helps. It helps with the, the like, the musty smell you get down there. Like, it basically keeps you hydrated and, like, it just helps keeps things flowing really, really good. The more water you drink, the better for everything. And that's for your skin. That's for, you know, it could be for moistness too. Like, water is life, okay? If you're not drinking enough from water, make sure you do that because that's very, very important. Now, another thing that they suggest is cotton underwear. Okay, cotton underwear, if you don't know where to get it, the pink line is all cotton underwear. Okay, so that's very, very important. Make sure you have your cotton underwear, bitch, because all these silk and all that shit, that shit traps the sweat and makes you smell musty. It, that's it. It's really that simple. Um, and then another thing is loose-fitting clothing, pants, leggings, da-da-da, which I know is hard because you wear tight clothes. I love to wear tight clothes, so that part is challenging for me. But still, like, it helps, and it helps, you know, everything flow better, basically, and breathe better. You know, like, it's a lot better. Just, like, that's it. It's a lot better okay and another thing is obviously showering every day okay the best time to shower in my opinion is the morning because I don't want to smell musty all day you get what I'm saying like you sweat you sleep at night you sweat at night you, you know legs closed all night like so when you wake up go shower go watch a coochie okay because like it's very like you know I just don't preferably this is my preference I don't want to be sweaty and smell musty down there all day like no so and then if you want if you like taking showers at nighttime then take another one before bed like a little quick one you know what i'm saying um another important thing is okay lotion and moisturizing wise do not put scented lotion down on your fucking vagina like do not put scented lotion down there it's going to throw your ph balance off and we don't want our ph balance thrown off like it's that simple you get what i'm saying so Make sure you do not put any lotion down there. No perfume, nothing. Do not put anything down there. Do not feel the need to put anything in your vagina. No douching, no nothing. That stuff is bad for you. That's the scented soap that's supposedly just for your vagina. Like, that's bad for you, too. Like, that's all that stuff is bad for you. Wipes. If you're using wipes, wet wipes on your vagina, that's a no-no. That throws off your pH balance. And so does caffeine throws it off throws it off okay so like just take extra care of your vagina you know be attentive to her because at the end of the day that is your flower that is your flower and she's special 
anyway i hope guys i hope i helped you and i hope i gave you guys some good information and basically what i do to keep me smelling freshy freshy fresh now by the way with these boric acid pills they only suggest maybe like four uh, up to four times a week max and if you have all these problems and if you still smell a scent after you do all this stuff then you have to go to the gyno you have to go to the gynecologist and you have to get tested and you have to see get tested you know you, like, you never know what's wrong you might suffer from bv like you which is bacterial vaginosis in case you didn't know like make sure you're doing your homework okay but i love you guys and i hope you guys found this video very informative and i will see y'all in my next video Peace. oh then i'm recording from the back this is a whole different